What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the most essential tweaks that you should have if you're just getting started with your jailbreak on iOS 13.7, iOS 14, iOS 14.0.1, iOS 13.5.1 and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter what iOS 13 or iOS 14 version you have. These tweaks are a must have for anybody because they're very, very useful. All right. So the first one on the list is tweaks compatible. This one saved my bacon a couple of times because it allows to see whether or not a tweak that you're about to install is compatible with the device you're trying to run it on and of course with the iOS version. Installing a tweak that is not compatible with your iOS version can actually destroy your jailbreak, can make your device no longer boot or it can create weird problems with various things. For example, your battery can be draining faster, your memory usage can be bigger and of course your phone may get warm and stuff like that. So installing tweaks that are compatible is important and this in here allows you to see each and every tweak that is available and whether or not it works with the latest version or with the version you have. So how do you install it? Well, you search for it. It's called Tweak Compatible and it's available in Cydia from the big boss. It's this one in here. And once you install it, that's basically all you need to do. It will automatically create a new tab here on Cydia on the sources where you can actually go directly to the website and search even for tweaks that you cannot find in Cydia. And you can of course select which iOS version you want all the way down to 14.2, which is actually quite nice. And then of course, for each individual tweak, when you open their page, for example, for new term two in here, on the bottom, you can see I have a folder that says working. If it doesn't work, it says that it's not working. And if the status is unknown, it's going to say unknown. Now, these are all based on other users. So the feedback comes from users who have tried it on that particular version and have confirmed it working, not working, or partially working. Because a tweak may be working, but just partially. So if you press here on working, you can see it says iOS 13.4.1 is working. This package version has been marked as working based on the feedback from users in the community. And if you actually press show reviews, you can see exactly who reviewed it and of course who tried it on what device and they said it's working. Now you can also see for multiple versions. So if you press show other versions, it shows multiple iOS versions in here. So the last version compatible with this that has been tried is actually 13.7. So it says in here working. So this is actually quite good. It's an essential tweak that anybody should have to prevent installing tweaks that are not compatible or haven't been updated yet to the iOS version running on the phone. The next one, which is actually very essential in my opinion, is Snowboard. The Snowboard is actually a theming platform which allows you to install themes on your device. In fact, the theme that I'm currently running, you can see with the icons in here, is called Lotus and it's actually running on top of Snowboard. You can see here on the settings and it's created by Spark Dev. You select the theme and the components and of course enable it and then you have the icon options in here which you can customize the way you want. Now this is completely free, it's available here on Cydia, it's available from Spark Dev's repo which you can find up here and of course as you can see it's compatible with iOS 7.0 all the way up to iOS 14.2. So as I said, this allows you to install themes like Lotus and other themes. You just have to find a theme in Cydia, for example, Lotus in here. And of course it has the icons that I like. And all you have to do is to press install in here. Now, if you actually used in the past Winterboard or Anemone in order to install themes, this is basically the same thing, but it's much more lightweight and I definitely recommend it more. You can enable it and disable it from here and it's actually completely live. You can see that now the theme is no longer active. And if I go back in here and and enable it, the theming occurs again. It's essential and this one actually themes the whole icon base. So even on settings and small icons and search and stuff like that, not only the home screen icons like some of the applications in the App Store on iOS 14. The next essential tweak is actually Falza. So a lot of you who are already jailbroken on other versions probably know about it. It's a file manager which allows you to browse the whole file system of the device and of course it allows you to carry modifications to the files and stuff like that. But if you are a new newcomer in the community definitely install Falza amongst the first tweaks you install. This allows you to actually fix a lot of things with your tweaks. It allows you to see hidden folders and files and stuff like that. You can browse the whole file system. You can edit applications. You can install tweaks in the dev format and stuff like that. And if something actually breaks, many times you can fix it using Falza by editing a file or removing a file and stuff like that. So it's a file manager, but it's much more beyond the iOS files application which comes by default. This one has full root access. So you have access to the whole 
iOS. Definitely install it, it's completely free, available in Cydia from Big Boss. The next one is again very very essential, the new term. New term is basically a terminal right on your device. It allows you to run any commands you want, even as root. So for example if you write su, you're going to get asked for a password, which by default is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And as you can see right now I am as root, which is actually quite good. Because if you don't have a computer near you or anything like that, you're able to perform any commands you want that you would normally perform via SSH right from your phone. So if I say for example cd bar, we're here and I can say ls and stuff like that. I can write who am I and get some information about the user. It says root uname dash a to get information about the system. And as you can see any commands that you would normally run via SSH can be ran with this program in here. It's monumentally important when something breaks. You can fix a lot of times your jailbreak by running commands in the terminal. Commands that you find online on reddit jailbreak or on my videos and stuff like that. But if you don't have the terminal by the time the jailbreak breaks you are no longer able to install it at that point. So definitely have it installed somewhere in there because you may need it one day. It's called new term and it's actually available for iOS 10 all the way up to iOS 13. It was confirmed to work on 13.7 as well and it's available from Hashbang Productions and it's definitely recommended to have on your device. And the last one is more of a preference rather than an essential one but if you want to have the small Siri size from the iOS 14 even on iOS 12 and iOS 13 and stuff like that there is a tweak called small Siri. Now I'm going to show it in a Siri in here so you can see which one I'm talking about. Is this one in here a free tweak which is actually quite nice. So it's available from Muri03 in here and it looks like this. Hey Siri. Hi. As you can see Siri is no longer occupying my whole screen. It's just a small thing in there so I can do whatever I want here on the screen. Open settings and stuff like that. Pop up Siri. Hey Siri. Hello. There you go, much better than having Siri occupy your full screen. So yeah, this is more of a preference, but I do definitely believe it's actually a very good tweak that you may want to install. So yeah, that's basically it, that's my list with the most essential tweaks to install when you jailbreak for the first time your device, and definitely stay updated for more. Peace out.